I've been a professional musician in one way or another since I was about 12. My dad just brought home a cheap K guitar. It was just like, well, this is cool. I love this. This is what I want to do, you know. I started giving lessons when I was 13 or 14. I was obsessed with it from that point on, have been ever since. I've been together with Breezy since I was 19. We had hung out, but we hadn't really done like a date date until we went to the state fair. And I think that's like the most iconic Indiana first date or something to that sort. Rev just had a tendency to describe everything as big damn, like, oh, look at that big damn door, or that big damn whatever. We won this big damn bear, and I was just kind of being silly with it, you know. Rev just kept walking around, joking around with people as though he was a carnival worker saying like, pet the big damn bear, pet the big damn bear. So that's how we named the big damn band. I always tell people when we first met, I don't know if I would have gone out on so many dates with him if I'd known how obsessed he was with playing the guitar and how much time he spent doing it. Because when we first met, it was right after Rev had lost the use of one of his hands. And he had a pretty major surgery and was able to overcome it. During his time off, Rev listened to older blues. It changed a little bit of the type of music he was playing. And we were listening to something that had washboards on, and I said, man, washboard's kind of a fun instrument. I'd like to try playing one of those. Two days later, Rev had went to an antique store and picked one up. And that's kind of where it began. We started playing out a lot, and, and it was getting to be where we had to make a decision. It was give up music or, or basically give up our jobs. We were kind of like, if we're going to do this, we're going to do it. Because there's no doing it halfway. You have to give up everything, walk away essentially from everything else and do it. There's no other way to do it. So we just sold everything, gave up everything. And I'm not kidding, everything. Like we had a garage sale where we just opened the door to our place, let people come in and buy anything in there. We lived out of a van. We traveled around and played to empty rooms for a long time. First time we played Salt Lake City, I think we played for like 10 people. I remember thinking, we killed it with those 10 people. That was great. Did you see those 10 people? We sold like five CDs. We just took it from the front porch to the world and then slowly built it up to where it's at now. And now it seems like it was forever ago. I hardly remember life before touring. We play several hundred shows a year. We've played in like 36 countries and 48 of the 50 states. I believe that you know live music is about putting on a show. So we bring a show. And we want people to come and be able to take the stress of work or their home life away and be able to have an evening where they can just dance and have fun and walk away just feeling great. We're always trying to chase that adrenaline you get from a crowd and get them up to the level that you're at. You know, the music that we make is real. Music can take you away from something. And if you are sad at the time, you can listen to a song and it can put you in a good mood. And I think that's the greatest gift of music. I love making music. I'm, I'm still, I'm still obsessed with it, you know? Like, I'm relentless. It's nonstop trying to be better, and I'm always writing songs and messing with it and trying to improve the sound. And Like, I feel like that inside me. There's like something inside my soul that's that way, that's tenacious and relentless, and like, I'm just gonna keep coming until I'm gone.